Radio won't win any fashion awards tonight, but he does take a look at the last night of a St. Louis landmark. What do April 27th, 1991, these famous bears that sit on Market Street and this resplendent outfit have in common? It's Keel Auditorium's last scheduled event. It's wrestling, and I'm your guest ringmaster. The Keel Auditorium came to be from a bond issue passed in 1933. It cost $8 million, quite a sum for the 30s. Originally called the Municipal Auditorium, the building was done in Art Deco and first hosted events like opera and the first national folk festival. The building was renamed Henry W. Keel Auditorium in 1943 after Mayor Henry Keel. Keel had the big names there. Bob Hope, Jack Benny, Duke Ellington, The Stone, Springsteen, Glenn Miller, The Jackson Five, and even Elvis. Fast forward to April 27, 1991. The last scheduled event, wrestling at Keel. Brody to Dick the Bruiser, Harley Race, Pat O'Connor, God rest his, I, rest, I wrestled every great star in this business, in this building. And I can honestly say it was my greatest honor in my career to participate in the great city of St. Louis in the Keel Auditorium on Friday nights. Bottom. Some remembered outstanding events that happened at the Keel Auditorium. I think my favorite memory was I uh, was trying to impress a girl backstage, and I got her backstage for a wrestling match, and Ric Flair walked out nude down the steps. And that night, I could not impress the woman because I couldn't meet the standards of Ric Flair. Some didn't know it was Keel's last event and became upset when they found out. Hey, 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 hey. You guys don't know. Oh, you know. Although WCW Wrestling will move to the arena, there have been no official plans from Keel or the city on the future of the auditorium or if the anticipated new hockey arena will take its place. Interestingly enough, Keel Opera House will remain open, but Keel Auditorium is finished. The special memories from wrestlers, the special memories from people, even a backstage special party tonight to commemorate April 27th, 1991. It's more than just the last scheduled event for Keel Auditorium. It's the end of an era. I'm Joe Mason, St. Louis 11 News. Yeah! All right, Joe Mama. <laughs>